Welcome to the channel. I'm Lance with Fox Body FX, and this is a 1988 Celine Sport Truck. Yes, they took a Ford truck, the Ranger, the Danger Ranger, and made a Celine that is, it's super cool. Thank you to MPD for allowing me to come and make the video at your location. Appreciate you, Rick, Matt, all the gang over there. You guys are amazing. Go to npdlink.com if you want some parts. They have everything. They've got four locations all across the United States. Gonna ship your parts to right to you. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe bell. Click, click. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers on the channel. And we are going to do an amazing experience giveaway for some lucky winner. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and enjoy this video. And now there, there she be. Look at this thing. This is crazy train. I mean, a Celine truck that is just crazy looking. Dude. This thing, <laughs> like I said, so ugly, it's cool. What are those, 12 inch wheels? Those are huge. <laughs> yeah, they are crazy. They are, golly. <laughs> like the placement of the rear view mirror, the side view mirrors, the stickers, this contoured arrow piece like so much stuff it's getting a few little pieces worked on trying to stay all original and keep everything right and nice yeah oh my gosh look at that dude this interior is crazy i love these tricolor what is this called regatta or something yeah, i believe it's regatta blue the there's blue, so many, the red, and the gray. There's so many styling cues on these Rangers that were the same for Fox bodies. It's it's unreal. I mean, not just the Celine stuff that like the steering wheel and stuff, but the the door handles, the the roll down window handle, like that's all right from Mustang. Door lock knobs. I mean, there's just so many components that are right from from the Mustang. Mm-hmm. Got the flow fits in here. Got the mesh headrest, but. Man, never have I ever seen this color. I mean, this isn't a color that's on any Mustang, to my knowledge, right? I don't believe so. I've never seen it. I don't think that there was any Celines with that with the blue interior, but I might be wrong. I'm sure somebody out there in your could world be will, actually. Will know. Maybe I I just haven't seen enough of you know a blue interior Celine that might have had this. Yeah. You know that that is an opera that's a possibility. But man, gosh, this thing is cool. Is it a four-speed, five-speed? What is it? Uh, I think it's a five-speed. Yeah? I'm almost sure it's a five-speed. Yeah? That's kind of what I figured. I just, you know. Yeah. Got the Momo shifter knob on it and everything else. <laughs> Gosh, this thing is so cool looking. So you drove this truck, right? I did get to drive it. Yeah, when we had the Celine Nationals here uh, last year, I did get to drive it uh, on the way back. So... It's a, it's a cool truck to drive. You definitely get some looks when you're driving it because people are like, what is that? <laughs> but Yeah, what is this thing? But being a nostalgic you know, Ford and Mustang guy, it was just cool to be able to ride around in it and say I drove it. It's a, it's a, all of it's just a little bit of experience that you, you get to remember as time goes on. So. All right, so what's in this? Is it a 302? No. No, it's a straight, it's a six cylinder. I don't actually know a lot about these cars. Oh, we can open fine. the hood, or those trucks. But it is. Um, Do you know how many of these there are? I think they only built 26. Okay. I'm sure Lee Reese will, is probably cringing when he watches this because he'll know exactly <laughs> how many they built. But I believe that there's only, uh, built. I thought they only built 26 of them. Now you're gonna ask me how to open the hood. <laughs> All right. Check this out. 2.9 liters of American Fury. V6. It looks very similar to a 302 when you look at it. As far as like, it just looks like it's missing one cylinder. <laughs> right. You know, but it has a lot of the same, like, a lot of the same features. You know, you look at the coil, the coil looks very same. Wires, cap and plug, all that kind of look very similar. You know, a lot of these, like, vacuum tees and stuff like that look very similar to the Mustang stuff. Same alternator, same got that 
it's got an alternator shield just a little bit different it's got it's got a, a lot of the little features that look very similar to like mustang stuff so what a little small compartment and all the stuff that's on this car i mean it was truck it's just it's I'm, compact but it's long it is like it's like the bed is really long yeah but i would i would if you know I'd like to put some like sticky tires on it. I bet you it really probably does handle better than you think it does. Oh, I'm you know sure I mean? it probably does. I'm sure it doesn't have much giddy up and go, but right. But I bet you throw this thing in the corner. I bet you it's it's probably fun. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. You know, it'd probably surprise you. You know, I mean, Salim is really known for you know those that handling. Uh huh. That, you know that that's absolutely. Setup. So I'm I'm sure it does. I love it. Like I said, it's a love or hate it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I like it. 